um, on a, you know, maybe. Um, Lithium-ion covers a very broad range of technologies. You can have an enormous difference in the power density and the energy density. In recent years, lithium-ion batteries have taken the world by storm, controlling more than 90% of the global grid market, from your laptop to electric vehicles. You're probably watching this video on a device powered by a lithium-ion battery. However, current lithium-ion batteries have great limitations which affect performance and can even take you all night to charge if your electric car runs out of battery. Instead of finding new solutions, researchers in Texas are making great efforts to enable lithium batteries to charge five times faster. So what exactly is this technology and how will it improve range and charging time? Let's find out in today's Rootin' Tootin' episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel! Before I begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already and ringing that bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Right now, they need so much energy you'd have to charge them too often. Lithium-ion will still be dominant for a long time, even if you have other technologies. However, lithium-ion batteries still have their limitations, and these hold back many of the advances we could have made as a human race. They're not as robust as some other rechargeable technologies. Lithium-ion batteries require protection from being overcharged and discharged too far. In addition to this, they need to have the current maintained within safe limits. Every time a battery charges, lithium ions travel back and forth between a positive electrode and a negative electrode, particles in electrodes, causing them to crack and degrade over time. Electrode damage reduces a battery's charging capacity, which in turn reduces the range. However, it'll take a long time for new batteries to hit the market, and moreover, perhaps we'll never eliminate lithium-ion completely. So, why don't we just improve on something that's already been proven to be reliable? A better battery changes everything. That's what you need to know about the future of lithium-ion batteries. To ensure that there are no barriers facing EV uptake, researchers at the University of Texas at Austin are addressing the two biggest challenges currently facing EVs, limited range and slow recharging by creating a new type of lithium-ion battery electrode. The study was published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. They fabricated a new electrode that has the potential to unleash greater power and faster charging without sacrificing life. The electrode, the positively and negatively charged part of the battery, was made thicker using magnets to create a unique alignment that sidesteps common problems associated with sizing up this vital component. Scientists say the price of new lithium-ion batteries will drop by 65% due to fewer complicated steps. For comparison, the average price of a lithium-ion EV battery pack is $101 per kilowatt hour in 2022. Thus, it would only cost about $35.35 per kilowatt hour to own a lithium-ion battery pack with new electrodes. This is good news for electric vehicle manufacturers and consumers. So how did they implement this technology? Lithium-ion battery because the lithium ions move from side to side. To create thickness, the team used thin two-dimensional materials as the building blocks of the electrode, and then used a magnetic field to manipulate the orientation of the materials. During the fabrication process, the researchers used commercially available magnets to arrange the two-dimensional magnets in a vertical alignment. This created a fast lane for ions to travel through the electrode. The magnetic field used by the researchers could facilitate twice the range on a single charge for an EV, compared with a battery using a current, commercial electrode. For example, the maximum driving range for a Model Y is 330 miles on a full charge for the base long-range trim, and 303 miles for the performance trim. With new electrodes, the Model Y's range can be significantly increased up to 660 miles. This is indeed an amazing increase in range. Gui Hua Yu, a professor in UT Austin's Walker Department of Mechanical Engineering and Texas Materials Institute stated, Two-dimensional materials are commonly believed as a promising candidate for high-rate energy storage applications because they only need to be several nanometers thick for rapid charge transport. However, for thick electrode-design-based next-generation high-energy batteries, the restacking of nanosheets as building blocks can cause 
significant bottlenecks in charge transport, leading to difficulty in achieving both high energy and fast charging. Thicker electrodes force the ions to travel longer distances to move through the battery, leading to a slower charge time. The typical horizontal alignment of the layers of the material that comprise the electrode forces the ions to move back and forth. The magnetic field used by the team aims to solve this issue. Zheng Yu Zhu, a graduate student in Yu's research group who is leading this project, said, Our electrode shows superior electrochemical performance, partially due to the high mechanical strength, high electrical conductivity, and facilitated lithium ion transport thanks to the unique architecture we designed. The team also compared their electrode with a horizontally arranged electrode for experimental control purposes. The vertical thick electrode was recharged to 50% energy level in 30 minutes, whereas the horizontal electrode was recharged to 50% in 2 hours and 30 minutes. This means 5 times faster charging time than Tesla's 4680 batteries. We all know that with a standard 120 volt outlet at home, it'll take around 15 hours to get your Model Y fully charged. So, with the new electrode lithium ion battery, you only need 3 hours to charge. If you've got access to a Tesla supercharger, it will just take 3 minutes to charge up a Model Y. So, with such a fast charging speed, will it affect the battery life? Texas researchers said that increasing the energy density of the cells while maintaining other factors such as safety and lifetime constant at a high level, about 25 years. They are still continuing to find a way for lithium batteries to have a lifespan of 50 years. The researchers also emphasized that they looked at just a single type of battery electrode in this research. Although they're still experimenting in the laboratory, they expect lithium batteries with new electrodes to be available in April of 2023. If successful, it could significantly reduce the cost of lithium, removing one of the most significant bottlenecks to battery production ramp up. How do you feel about this technology? Do you believe it will be released in the coming years? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much, and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.